Hey everybody, this is Shelby from Chicago Music Exchange and today I have with me this absolutely beautiful 1972 Gibson ES-175D. Uh, the D standing for double pickup, double humbucker pickup. ES stands for electric Spanish and 175 because in 1949 when uh, Gibson released the 175, that's how much it cost. Uh, they weren't planning for inflation, um, <laughs> clearly. It was released in 1949, like I said, by Gibson to compete with the L5, which was the more expensive model. Uh, they were able to keep costs down by making this a laminate top, um, which made it incredibly popular. It also feeds back a little bit less because of that top material. 175 was the first guitar to have the Venetian style cut. Everything prior to that had the Florentine cut, which is like the nicer, more rounded bouts uh, when you think about like a 330 or 335. This one in particular, like I said, is a 1972. It's been played and just feels great. The neck is really, really nice. It has absolutely gorgeous play wear across the back of it. The, uh, the tuners have actually been replaced. They're Grover tuners. They're not from 1972. Um, at some point, the neck has been refretted, uh, which is actually great. These frets feel like they're brand new. It's got two Gibson humbuckers in it, which sound absolutely amazing. I'm kind of going to gravitate more towards the neck pickup because it sounds unbelievable. Not that the other ones don't, but in a classic jazz box like this, the neck pickup is really where it's at in these jazz boxes, as you can hear. With the tone all rolled all the way off, you get those really, really distinct, thick jazz tones. And with the tone rolled up, it still sounds absolutely incredible. The string tension's really light, so uh, it just, the action is great across the neck. It's, it's one of the easiest playing guitars I've picked up in, in the store. Uh, absolutely sings. Uh, to show off this 175, I thought it would be great to run through the Fender Super Reverb amp. It's a 65 reissue. It sounds absolutely incredible. It's very telling of the, uh, of the jazz players of the time. And I have this great mono strap here with me to keep my 175 nice and balanced. So let's dive in and see how it sounds. 